How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good and hopefully you guys are as well. Today we're going to be doing some smallmouth bass fishing with some flies thanks to the Fly Crate. Now they're a fly fishing company that you can either sign up for a subscription to get flies sent to your doorstep every month or you can go online to their website and pick out the flies you want and just buy them right there. So all the flies that I'm going to be using today are from either their website or from their subscription. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check that out. But enough talking, let's get out to the river and see how the flies work. So I just got to my first spot of the day. And I'm going to start off with this little fly right here. It's a small little streamer. I think it's called like a shimmering shad, something along those lines. But it's pretty windy right now. It's like 18 to 25 mile per hour gusts of wind. So fly fishing might be a little bit difficult. I do have some conventional gear, but hopefully I won't need to use that. Either way, we're going to try uh, casting before it gets too windy and see if we can pull any smallmouth out. Oh, there we go. First cast. A big one, too. Definitely not the size we're looking for, but literally my first cast of the day. I got a little tiny smallmouth. Oh my gosh. That thing slammed it. Jeez, another tiny one. But I think we're going to need to move to deeper water to find the bigger fish. There we go. There's a better fish. There's a better fish. Nice. Finally. Finally. I can't see him, but he feels... Okay, he's not huge, but it's a significantly better fish for sure. Nice. On that little streamer. I've caught like maybe five or six really tiny fish so far and I finally hooked, hooked into a decent one. They've been smacking it really hard but until now I haven't gotten any good fish so it's good to finally get a nice one. Man I love smallmouth. <laughs> they fight so hard on these light rods especially. Once you get a decent sized fish on a light rod and they get in the current <laughs> It's so hard to get them in quickly. I mean, this fish is just dogging me right in the current, just hanging in the current, making it feel a lot stronger and heavier. Man, awesome looking smallmouth. And there we go. Again, not a big fish, but on that little shimmering chat, I think it's called. And I mean, look at the colors. These colors on these smallmouth are so cool. Got nice like colors on their cheek and then the spots all down their back. I got, you gotta love smallmouth. Such cool, fun fighting fish. There we go, another tiny one. Man, they hit it so hard and I can see it because I'm, I'm watching my fly since it's white. You can really easily see it through the water because it's just like m maybe a couple inches below the surface. And uh, you'll see it disappear and then a big swirl right on the surface of the water from the fish. And then you set the hook and you got a little smallmouth. Unfortunately, not a big one. Oh my gosh, wow, that thing smoked it. Might be another nice fish. Uh, it's better size for sure. I can't really get a good look at it. It's a smallmouth though. He is digging, pulling super hard. Uh, yeah, it's a nice fish. Again, not the giant like 18, 20 inch I'm looking for. Come here, one more jump maybe? Nope, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 hey. There you go, another nice quality fish. Came out nicely.
There we go. That's a little bit of a better fish. Not much, but he smoked it right in front of me, like right behind these weeds, kind of. It's, I've been catching so many, and I mean so many tiny fish. I mean, this is still a pretty small fish, but I mean, this just tells you how many small fish I've been catching, because I think this one's actually kind of big now. After catching like a bunch of like eight to nine inch fish, this is maybe 12 inches, probably not even that big. But the small fish are very active right now. Still looking for the big ones though. Well, I thought that little streamer was going to catch me a lot more big fish. Unfortunately, those small fish are way too active right now. I'm not sure why or why there's so many small fish. I mean, there's usually a lot, but it seems like there's like twice as much as normal. Either way, I'm going to switch up to a little top water, and maybe that'll get some of the bigger, more aggressive fish, or just like it'll weed out through some of the smaller fish, maybe. I'm not, not really sure. It's just an idea. So I'm going to throw this out there and uh, see if the bigger fish maybe want this. There we go. There's a little fish. First fish on the top water. And it is another tiny fish. This is what I was talking about. I've been catching, so no matter what I've been throwing, I have been getting lots of these guys. Tell your mom to come out. Oh my gosh, that was a good blow up. Please come back. Well, it's now day two on a different river and a much smaller river. The other day when I was fishing, I was catching some fish, as you guys saw, but not very big fish, uh, only a few decent sized ones. They seemed like they were being pretty finicky, and with the strong winds, it was really hard to cast the lighter flies. So hopefully in a smaller river, I can get on some nicer fish. Uh, there's a good mix of pike and bass in here, so we could potentially get a few different species, but hopefully we can get on some big pike, because I know you guys like that a lot as well. So either way, we're already in the river, so let's get casting and hopefully get in some nice fish. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, what the heck? I have a smallmouth on, and I, just, I can see a pike looking at it right now. He's following it. He's chasing it. Oh my gosh, he's biting at it. I cast to the pike. I, I don't know if you, you guys probably, oh my gosh, he T-boned it. He just T-boned the smallmouth. Oh my gosh. Look, I, can you guys see that? Try to get him to come up close enough where I can get you guys to see the pike. This is such an aggressive pike. What the heck? I'm gonna unhook this smallmouth and see if I can get that pike to grab it though. Wow, you can kinda of see the marks there. It was like maybe a 25 inch pike and he grabbed this little smallmouth. I threw the fly to the pike and then the smallmouth came out of nowhere and uh, grabbed it. All right, I bet we're gonna get this pike to grab Well, the camera died right as I was letting that smallmouth go but that pike is still sitting right here so I'm gonna throw this fly to it and I'm sure he'll grab it. He was so aggressive. He's just in there waiting. Well, that pike was aggressive enough to T-bone the smallmouth, but he won't grab the streamer anymore, so beats me, but whatever, he's a pretty small pike anyways, so hopefully we find some bigger ones. Well, the second day was a little rough for me. I only caught that one fish, um, and I only had about an hour and a half to fish, which I guess isn't too bad, but either way, I'll definitely be using some of those streamers more in the future, especially that white, uh, I think it's called Shoemaker Shimmering Minnow. Uh, that had some really good action through the water. I think I had a marabou tail, which really moved around good in the water, so definitely seemed like a good smallmouth fly just the last couple days I took it out. The bite wasn't the best, but either way, if you want to check out the fly crate, it will be linked below. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.